He played for and coached at one of the premier programs in college basketball. And now he's coaching high school girls basketball. Matt Zahn here with that story. Hi, Matt. Hey, Woodlands Academy is a small Catholic high school in Lake Forest that now has a big time coach leading the girls basketball team. I talked to the multi championship winning player and coach to find out how he ended up on their sidelines. Woodlands Academy has a new head girls basketball coach, and let's just say he brings a lot of experience to the sideline, even if this is his first time coaching high school basketball. I didn't really know who he was at first, but my all my family knew, and I did some research of my own. I was so like excited and like confused on how he got this job here. That is the million dollar question. How did Larry Farmer end up at Woodlands Academy? Farmer played on one of the all-time great basketball teams under John Wooden at UCLA before going on to coach there and at Loyola, among other stops. But he never got to do the job he says he always wanted, coaching high school basketball. And I uh, had retired from college uh, coaching, but really felt that I needed to do something else with my life rather than just you know sit around and count the days. I'd always wanted to be a high school coach. I, I thought my career would start me off at that level and then I would have to work my way up, but it actually worked in reverse. I started looking around for jobs and, and applying for different high school jobs and I was really intrigued by this one and you know I reached out and did all of the necessary paperwork and when I heard back from uh, Woodlands I was really excited. Farmer takes much of his coaching style from John Wooden, which is cool for the players on his team even if they may not know much about the legendary college basketball coach. We learned the UCLA Cup, which for the guards, I mean, that was a big deal for them. Um, I went home and told my dad about it, and he was totally freaked out. He looked like a little boy on Christmas. Like, it was totally, I didn't know what it was personally, but he did. He's a big basketball fan. Well, they're getting a lot of woodenisms. <laughs> they're coming at them every day. In our very first practice, I put his definition of success on our board. You know, the goal was not winning or losing. We don't talk about winning, but it was working every day to become the very best person and player that you're capable of becoming. Farmer says the high school girls tend to listen better than most of the college players he's coached. And there's apparently another difference too. We were uh, on, our, on the bus headed to our first our road game. And because a couple of the girls, they had a literature class the next day, we were on the bus going to the game and they were reading Hamlet. Shakespeare and I had to say in 44 years of coaching I had never been on a team bus where the guys were reading Shakespeare now they were listening to rap music yeah Shakespeare not not so much to coach high school basketball or not to coach high school basketball that is the question answered with a resounding yes for Larry Farmer oh I've, I'm having the time of my life it, it is so much fun yeah, Farmers Bruins went 89 and one in the games he played and they won three national titles. The 71 year old was inducted inducted into UCLA's Hall of Fame a few years ago and he says Chicago is like home even though he's not from here since his kids basically grew up here while he was coaching at Loyola. Oh, you can see the joy he has. Yeah, he really is having the time of his life doing this and extraordinary that he's doing that and that you know, they have this gentleman from the wooden <laughs> coaching tree. You yeah, know? they said oh, when right. they first saw the, the resume, they actually didn't believe it at first, but turned out it was true. All right. Thank Very you, Very good. Thanks, Great. Matt.